guys are way too toxic. Look what the hell you did. How I did that? That's you. Cause that's cause you don't even let people talk and listen. We don't even need him anyways. We can do it ourselves. Stop doing that, bro. Yo, she did that shit this morning. She said, <laughs> and all her boogers flew all over my arm. The shit that she was doing yesterday. Yeah. Was like, why are you doing that? Yeah. <laughs> It's allergy season. We give her a pass. That's not a pass for me. I don't have... Th- Who wakes up and goes, when I, nothing, there's nothing there. There's no tissue, nothing, just air. Would you rather her do it throughout the day when other people are around? She That's all she does. This is true. Where did you pick up that habit of, y'all just going to throw snot rockets? No, I'm not. So purpose? when I'm really stuffy, they don't, they're not snot rockets. My nose is so congested that nothing comes so out. So what's the point of doing that? Because you have to kind of push the boogers away a little bit so that you have room for your air to flow. That makes, you just said you congested regardless. Yes, but if you move the boogers forward, there's a, there becomes a passageway for air. So and then, then you, you wouldn't be congested. You don't understand. And I'm remember. not going to explain it to someone who doesn't understand because you're dumb. Shit, I'm dumb too because I was lost. Good. So y'all both dumb ass motherfuckers and I'm glad we could agree on that. We know you dumb. Yeah, I'm not dumb. You know what I used to do? I used to, uh, I used to go like this. Right? Yeah. And then flick it on the ceiling. Onto a, but on a napkin. And then throw it to the ceiling. No. And your hand? My hand. Like when I nut on my hand, I go like that. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the, with the boogers, I I'll do, do the, that too. <laughs> I do what I call the duck feet, the what? web, the web hands. Let me show them. When oh. I put it in my hand, and I go like that. I spread Spider Man apart and see how gooey it is. Yeah, First and then I try all, to climb on the the walls. Y'all some dirty ass motherfuckers. There's no way you sitting here judging me about my shit when I don't even put boogers out in the universe, but you over here you put them all over my arm. You over here shooting them up in the all ceiling. Right, look, you want to hear the difference? How old are you, Melanie? I am 29 years old. Uh, you're about to be 30 next month, right? Wait for it. Oh, actually, it's actually a month away. A month away from turning 30. 30 oh, days from 30. 30 days from 30. Yeah. I was like eight years old when I did that. It sounds like you still do that. No, it sounds like that you have an eight-year-old mind. I have an eight-year-old mind. There's no way, bro. If there was a test of surviving... And being an adult, you will fail. Me? Yes. How would you test that? What would be the tasks? You have to run errands. What? Yes. Yeah, just your capability in T. But not, he did it. No, nah, no, nah, there's no way. More efficiently. There's too. no more and efficiently. He got more personal time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Nah, you have to. You have to go to the post office. You have to send a package. You have to. Um, Somebody else could do that for me. Yeah, you, you gotta check all the stuff in the PO box. Bring it home. Yes. You have to go food shopping and actually go into a supermarket and do it. Why? Because these are adult things. But I'm an adult that I could afford. You have to put gas in the car. It. You have to put gas in the car. I don't drive. You can do that one though. You've done that one before. You want him to just get in the car and go get you gas? He no, he it has, sounds like right is <laughs> this is the test of adult. Yeah, <laughs> you test. You have to call. Like, you have to call a, a customer service representative and let them know that you have a, a dispute. I did. Proud of you. So you checking things off. I'm happy for you. But look, this is the stuff. There's <laughs> gatherers and there's <laughs> hunters. Hunters. And what are you? A uh, hather. Oh, Cheeks is a, a Cheeks is a gatherer, but he uses the berries to pay the hunters to do the hunting. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, how are you gonna have all that meat and no no vitamins? You know. I don't, yeah. And, the, and this is how we got America. <laughs> <laughs> Capitalism at its finest. He does have a point, though. My pronouns are USA. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to drop this on 4th of July. (laughs) (laughs) What you was going to say? Uh, What you were saying with the test, like, I get that you got to do chores and run errands. Like, those are the adult things. Yeah. But the the Do a laundry. You have to do laundry. The time that we live in now, Cheeks is right. Like, there's just so many ways of avoiding... Doing the task you don't want to do. It's not going to tell you to do it for me. Oh, I got to go to Trader Joe's after this. No, you don't. You're right. You're right. Go home. 100%. But there is something about taking care of yourself in the act of That's not taking care of myself. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I am taking care of myself. An act of service. 
An act of for service myself? is so like, like there's, joining so the army. A perfect example. <laughs> USA! USA! <laughs> <laughs> so perfect example, right? You feel 10 times better about life Speak when you yourself. cook for yourself. No, this is a fact. Who, who said who? Says 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 Google. It's a fact for you. No, it's a fact. Nah, if I you cook? cook, if you cook for yourself, you release endorphins because you're taking care of yourself. That so facts? when yes, so when you cook, for, so when you take care of yourself, no. your body, you're giving yourself self love. So 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 cooking. Love is not even is a, a real. Ser- thing. I get that your body might release. No 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 no, no, no. bitch. When I Y'all cook, though, I be miserable because I'm like I gotta do all of this shit and then I gotta clean the fucking dishes. I gotta wipe the stove. I don't want to do this shit. I rather order Uber Eats. So you feel better about, you feel more productive about life when you order Uber Eats? Or you feel more lazy and like, oh, I just ordered Uber Eats? Productive, you know why? I what? ordered Uber Eats and then I used that 40 minutes to keep editing. Okay. I don't know. But for the moments that I do, like I felt mad good. I cooked in the grill um, and I felt really good cooking okay, on the grill. I see that. Like and if I, you don't have a, something to do at that moment that's going to make you like feel productive and you do do the cooking or stuff, then yes. The, co- the act of cooking makes you feel better. Yesterday, the whole vibe did make you feel... Me too, just being there, it felt I like... I can't really find nothing. You, what were you looking for? Bro. That's because It says for- doing physical activities can help you release indoor... Well, not yeah, like working out. I'm going to find it. Because no, it said doing this, stuff This motherfucker cooking. be pissing me off. It said cooking, yeah, but because right. of the physical activity, not because you're cooking for yourself. Says because of the physical That's what I'm saying. I think work you you're putting little, it in. You get a little extra hit because you like to do the self care things. Nah, I'm like just bite. No, I'm not. Hold on. Before we get into this argument. Guys, welcome to P- <laughs> That's your reality. Look, look. This is why you don't do them. We go we coach you. You don't listen. You don't do nothing. She's gonna say pillow talk. <laughs> you saw you didn't Guys, see? welcome to Pillow Talk. <laughs> go check that out if you have it. Welcome to Dashy Reality. This is episode. 18, I believe, right? Yep. I, I you know, I, we got Melanie Cruz. I'm just going to do this shit differently. We got Melanie yeah. Cruz here with yeah, us. Yeah, we got Melanie Cruz. She Thank you guys it up. for and coming. We got God of the Creator. I thought you were going to say my government. <laughs> what is, which is what? Because you said Melanie Cruz. I thought you were going to be like, and this is... <laughs> nah, nah, that's her. She but, like, she, I'm like, that is your government. I'm confused. Like, yeah, man. <laughs> the Creator, say yo. Yo. yo, yo. Yeah, we, we came to the conclusion that you're biased as hell. I'm not biased. Chicla is a bitch. What? And let me tell you why. Because I told him you that he was adjusting? like, yo, yo, he was on. He let me was tell on, you why. Hold on. He was. <laughs> shout out to Justin. Um, he was you on would live. shout him out. Come on now. I'm trying to tell a story, you dumbass he's hoe. Try, he's trying to deflect because you got him. Yeah. Come on, let me hear it. So. Chico's on live, and he, his the people that are on the live watching him, they're like, yo, bro, your pores are crazy big. Like, damn, bro. You... Yeah. So he became insecure about his pores. I noticed them on the live, yeah. though. Yeah, the, the camera and the sunlight just yeah, made them all crazy. It makes so them shine. I told him, I was like, he's like, how do I how do I get rid of these? I was like, you will never get rid of them, but splashing your face with cold water after you cleanse your face will help You didn't say after you cleanse your face. Yes, I did. You said cold water. That's all you said. Cold water. Yeah. When you're in the shower, when you're about to get out, put cold water on your face and it will shrink your core, your pores. It will close them up a little more. So I told him this. And By the way, this story me. has nothing to do with her yes, being biased. No, it doesn't. It has everything to do <laughs> about you and, and not believing me. Because I just told you that cooking is an act of service that helps you feel better. And y'all don't believe me. You had no, to Google it, right? It still so didn't this, say that. So this is another example of that. It didn't say that. It said the physical activity of cooking, because it's physical, helps release I don't give a damn what Google says. You need to believe what I say. Not because of acts of service. Not, not, I don't give a not damn. Not everybody uh, believes in those I don't trauma give a responses. Damn. First of all, so see, I told them a fact. You when you pour cold water on your face. I knew put, that, though. No, you didn't, because you were still Googling shit. And YouTube and no, videos. No, I know the code. Like, Juku damn. said it the two days ago. Don said it two days ago. Before you said it, they said it already. I'm trying to find something that doesn't that that helps more than just that. He ain't believe me. He had to find more proof. Anyways, and you're I biased said, as fuck. I don't biased. even know how we got to where your story. Yeah, because yeah. I was telling a story, and you don't know how to let me speak, bro. Uh, stop interrupting I me. I didn't interrupt you. Anyway, so you just my a liar story, too. did I finish it? Yeah. No? I don't know. I don't exactly. Know. I, I don't know, because usually your stories, they could keep going. I don't know. Is it over? Wait, there's more to that? No, it, that's it. Okay. So. But you want to cut me off? I can't finish the story, right? 
Because you're a liar. I'm not a liar. You were dead ass Googling We were talking about being biased and you went a whole different way, so I'm confused. You started talking about bias at the same time that I was going to tell my story. That's cap. That's not cap. You was responding to the biased. That's a lie. I was not responding yeah. to the bias yeah. thing. You said what? chick. What? We have it we on cap. That's why I we, cut it. We got no. her. No. We got her on Play that one. shit back. Go, yeah. Yeah, yeah, play that yeah, shit back. Do that true. Yeah. And then you all see, because I was complaining about the fact that you don't, you have to Google to fact check me. I and you don't believe happen. that I have proof. So I was like, yo, he did this the other day, and that's why I started telling the I story. I said, you biased. I thought you was going to make And I wasn't biased, responding to your bias. Like how he's not biased towards you. I thought that's how you were going to tie it in. Like, oh, he'll take everybody else's information except for mine. I thought that's what you was going with. I don't, that's I don't what fact check I everybody. You had some fucking men. Look at me. That's what I thought you had him. Look, I'm trying to throw you a life raft. Life raft? I don't need no pay life this. raft. When that replay shows you, Bitch, I could swim. Uh-uh. Yeah. No, you going to see. I'm like, ah. You see, this is the problem that I have, right? Mm -hmm. We Back to fucking reality. That's what we call in this shit. That's the name of this podcast. Back to reality. Because I'm tired of this whole fake shit happening, right? What's happening? She's over here saying that I have a problem that I don't believe nothing you say, right? Mm -hmm. I don't believe shit anybody says. Mm -hmm. I got to Google what anybody says, but you make that a you think, so you feel like, oh, I got to go back home and he hates what I say. Mind you, you biased and you know that. You ain't realized it until recently when I started saying, like, I can't trust your word because you change your word so much, but you biased. The other day, right? I got light mayonnaise. Tastes like regular mayonnaise, but to Melanie... It doesn't taste like regular mayonnaise. To her sister, regular mayonnaise. To Melanie, no regular mayonnaise. So we did the same thing with light syrup. Which syrup? They taste exactly the same. I'm not going to cap. I'm going to retest we, the syrup. We get, I gave her light syrup with a blindfold. I gave her regular syrup with a blindfold. She liked the light syrup more. I'm going to retest <laughs> it. Because what happened Guess was, what syrup she uses? The other one. I like the other one. Because that, she that likes makes, the other one more biased. in real life. That is me biased. It's but like the, the, first time, the first time I tried the light syrup... It, my, I guess. So let me just tell the story. It didn't taste right. No, it but didn't I, taste right. I know you. I know. Hold on, relax. Because I know you. You think you know me, but you don't know you me. You think you know me. On this day, I, I see clearly. Anyway. Grand Boulay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so it didn't taste right. So I was like, oh, I'm not, I'm not fucking with this light syrup. So when we did the taste test and I really couldn't tell the difference, I was like, oh, so it was my potatoes that were off. <laughs> it was the potatoes. That's why she couldn't tell the difference because potatoes why, was the one that So I didn't like the light syrup because my potatoes were off. I was just going to give you a spoon. No, wait. You confused me just now because that's... A, that's oh, what I've been saying. That's not what you... You, no, this man don't listen. Not, he don't no, understand. No, so you, what happened you was you don't understand since, the words that are coming out of my no, mouth. She just flipped, <laughs> <laughs> you just flipped that shit up crazy. What, the original what she said was her potatoes was messed up, so that's why the syrup she couldn't tell the difference. Uh -huh. Now she's saying the first time she had light syrup, it was nasty because of potatoes. Yes, but that day she was saying she couldn't tell the difference because the potatoes were nasty, so that's why she liked the light syrup more. But now she's saying the potatoes are nasty, that's why she didn't like the light syrup. The so first, this is the, why I'd be confused. The original time, the original time. Yeah, yeah. This is why I'd be And I said that. This is why I'd be confused with life, bro. Because you're dumb and you, you, gotta, you only listen to what you want to hear. You gotta, that's you. That's literally you. You say that because that's really you. No. No, you that's been really gaslighting your me my reality. whole career. Your whole career? <laughs> <laughs> Your whole career is funny as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> well, you built a career off this shit. Yo, <laughs> Yo low cap, because that shit, re lately I've just been like, I listen to her, I'm able to listen to stuff. I'll be like, I never said that. Where the fuck did you get that from? So I'm like, anticipation. Yo, anticipation. Because Melanie anticipates how you're going to react. So when you don't react like that, I get a whole different answer of some shit that I'm like, that never happened. We really be doing that shit to each other, though. True. Because cause I, I can't, I can't remember which one we did. Um, but we, we <laughs> Yeah, I can't remember the story, so I'm not even going to tell you. Whoa, Grove! Wow. Melanie's getting podcast famous. Pocket. Wait, wait. I, got, I made a song today. You want to hear it? Yeah. No, I don't want to hear I it. I do. <laughs> Encore. We're always late. <laughs> We're always late. We're always late. And it's because Melanie 
How you came up with that song? We was late. He's childish as <laughs> fuck, bro. Because you know what? We were talking about it. I was like, yo, bro, you you wait cap. till I'm ready. Yeah. That's not cap. You like, Look at you responding before you even know what the words are coming out. I'm I so do know the words that are coming out of your mouth. We had the conversation this, already. This is exactly what I was about to wait, say. Wait, wait, wait. That how, was, you, I'm so this, glad you we, just did that. We didn't have this conversation already? No, we did. But so how would I cap. not know what you're about to say? So... So you calling Cap on what I'm about to say? Is yeah. that a fact? I'm what calling I'm Cap because I already know the end of what you're going to say. Not Cap on what you're saying. Cap on that that whole shit is vamoosed. All right. So let me tell the story. Vetoed. Because they don't even know. Yeah. So it just sounds like you just capping what Every I'm saying. Every man with me right now is going to agree with me right. on yeah. this planet. On this <laughs> motherfucking planet. All right. Are you? Wait, can I just ask a quick question before you start? Are you going to say like that he waits until the last second that you're getting ready for him to get ready and, yep. then, and then try to blame it on him, but it only takes him four minutes to get ready? He yep. blames it on me. Because it took you 45. He only used the four, the four at the last. See, but that's the problem. Anywhere in between I tell him, I tell him, him at the same time, like, yo, I get ready as much as, like, if I see you doing stuff, I'm going to keep doing stuff until that's not we need how that a work. But that, what do you mean that's not I how it works? I literally gave you the more time to get ready. Hold Women on, need more hold time on, hold than on. men. No, I'm, no, no. Yes, See, you do. Yes, you no, do. That's I could a get, fact. That's a Google hold fact. Hold on. I could get ready in 15 minutes and you see me do and he that. he could still get ready. And I get ready in five minutes, right? And he could still so, get ready in four. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, you waiting on me and I'm watching you as well. So I'm taking as now, long as it takes you to get ready. We got to take accountability how on we this both, podcast. How we both waiting for each other to get ready? What I'm time, not waiting for what you. Time was you he, are. No, You're, you had to be ready I'm at waiting 11, at the right? time. Yes. So you Till we get closer to that time, exactly. I'm going to get ready. Because and he knows I, how to manage how long it takes And him. I'm managing my time based on what That's you not my problem. And it's not my fault. So it's not my fault that you watching me. I don't watch you. I literally wait to the end. That's bias. You, no, is that is, bias? No, <laughs> let me explain it because Melanie's trying to present it as bias. No, I, if you have to I'm both a, be ready at ten thirty, Chicklet knows I already took a shower. Why you say my name like that? Chicklet, damn, no. you getting podcasting too? I don't even too. think I've ever said Chicklet. Chicklet, like I just say cheeks. So cheeks is getting ready. He needs fifteen minutes realistically to take a shower and get dressed, right? So he can get ready at ten fifteen. He knows that whether you're doing something ten forty five, ten forty five, or whatever. The, I put it for ten thirty. Either way, oh. no matter what the time is, right? You need 45 minutes. No, I need 15. To get out of bed, do your, your routine. You got to do your hair, your makeup. There's no way you're saying 15 because this time that you She come said here, 15 last time. And I it, take, was wrong. it really takes me. It I'm really, talking about like you going somewhere. All right, if I'm Trader going somewhere, Jones. the minute the minimum that I need is 30 minutes. An hour. No, I don't. Minimum? Okay. The I take minimum 15 is 30 minutes. minutes. I take 15 to do my makeup. What's your minimum? And I take 15 to My minimum? Get Probably five. But. This is this is our time only depends if we have taken a shower yet or not. But look, this is where this all is a cat, right? No way. You have to do a bunch of things in the middle of you doing one thing. 100%. So yeah, if you probably focused on your makeup, you'll be done faster. But you don't. That's not how you move. Um, you had to make coffee. You had to walk the dog. I didn't you have had to, to make coffee. But you did. See, that was a choice. See, because this will happen. I, I did have to walk winter, and I got up. Get into the Let me hear. I'm gonna hear it. Yeah. I had to walk winter. I walked winter, and by the time I got upstairs, it was ten forty. You woke up at nine, so you had twenty minutes to get here. That she, takes thirty minutes. She to woke drive. up at no, nine this 20, morning. It takes me twenty minutes. It like was twenty five. It was almost thirty minutes. Yeah, it was like twenty. Because there minutes. was traffic on the on the Jackie. Even if there's no twenty twenty five, you still. When we was on the Grand Central, it was twenty exactly minutes late. We would have been five minutes late. That's still late. Are we, are we leaving at ten fifty? We would have been That's five still minutes late. late. Accountability. If, if we if we left at, at no 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 no, I'm saying if we left at ten forty. Yeah, but you wasn't ready at 10.40. I, I, I was ready. You was physically dressed. Yes. That's not what being ready means. But that was ready for me because all It's not we, ready to leave. Hold on. I didn't have to make coffee. You, you didn't the, start making coffee till 10.51. That, I was you, ready at 10.40. Everything after that was like fluff time. Like I see you doing nothing. I was I'm dressed. I was ready shit. to leave. He was he was twerking his ass on the on the vanity watching TikTok. But there is so, no fluff time. You guys both know we're supposed to all be here at eleven o'clock the latest. So even if wait, he's wait. running late, you should be like, "Yo, why are you running late? We gotta be there." What the fuck was I supposed to do? I was standing on no, the vanity know, already, looking at videos, I, I know, fully saying, dressed even and done. So, even so, I'm fully dressed and no done. Fluff time. You clearly wasn't because you didn't say till nine minutes later. 10, 11 minutes later that you was ready to leave. Yeah, because you called me at 10.50 once and I heard you guys... So what happened... I don't even know what happened in them 10 minutes. I think I... <laughs> I don't know. I think I fed winter, but I don't... That, that doesn't take that Listen, much time to do. And you take a long time to do stuff. 
I, but I'm saying I only, so I am going to do as much I was, as I can before we walk out. So if I don't see you walking out, then I am going to do never, as much as I can. But I don't get how for your stuff that we have to be on on time, that don't ma ever matter, which makes no sense. You're only on our work time, on our stuff that we need done for us. That's what, but lashes, nails, vanity, all that stuff, you on time. Do not depend on me. For other people, like that has nothing to do with work, nothing, you on time for it, which that don't make no sense how you use this when, when, it, when, when it's for stuff that we need to do for us. But you don't care if I'm on time for anything else. So I don't get how that makes sense, that you don't watch me at all for anything else in your life, except when I say that you're late. That's the only time you ever, you ever have uh, an excuse. Well, our date nights and stuff. But I hear you, and I'm going to change that moving forward. It's just... I don't need to say anything else. I'm taking accountability. Isn't that what you want? Yeah, but That's it was it. too fast. Enough so I got to keep going. Of course not. Gosh, you just wasted yeah. eight minutes on that story trying to get her to take accountability. No, but I had to explain that because no, I never he hear a he complaint from Eleni. to take accountability. Oh. I never hear a complaint, it's ever. A fire back, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I just never hear a complaint when it comes to... Her having to do her nails, none of those stuff. I hear. Well, those things I don't. I won't do my makeup. You know, I won't. I, I'll. Some, a lot of the times, I'll leave without doing certain things. So that's what I'm I'll make sure I'll. I'll act the same way for this podcast. You know, you guys heard it here first. Oh, because remember, like, remember, like two weeks ago, we didn't come on a Sunday or some shit. MLA was ready to go for something else at nine o'clock in the morning. Ready? I'm like, oh yeah, you had called me. Yeah, like yo, Melanie's oh, up at nine thirty already. So dressed. she could do this. Wait, we were shooting. No, we were shooting, but you had yeah, to do something else in the morning. After. So you was like, yeah, no, in the morning. ready for the pot. Let's do the pot. Uh -huh. We had to do something in the morning. Yeah, I had to come over here to buy my, to pay the man. Oh, half. to pay the man money for, for the, my, for the thing he was She making ordered me. some shit. So she was up so I ready. Could, yeah. We see? didn't shoot that day. That was the day. Uh, There's no way you woke up randomly. For, I mean, woke up early for a random guy. Yeah. But <laughs> we over here trying to make a. And they, they, this was, and there was many circumstances for this situation, bro. Like we were, wait, we were trying to figure out if we were gonna wait for the um, target order that was coming. This was after ten fifty, though. That's why I, that I was at ten fifty. Okay, that's what I'm saying. We was already no, twenty minutes late no, to leave. No, that was before that because that was when I came in after winter, and I was like, I asked you if we should wait for the person or not, and you was, and you was like, it don't matter because we're already late. Yeah, he I don't care that. no more. So, so to me, that means that we have fluff time. So I started doing other things. Fluff time don't exist. Sometimes I don't even. I never even heard that before. Fluff time don't exist. Fluff time? I heard that when I was a kid. Fluff, Fluff time. time. Yeah. It's like extra spare. I was time. ready to bring out the charts and see. I didn't understand it. I'm happy that this happened today because we've been really excellent on these pods lately, and I just haven't been feeling like myself. I need a little toxic in me. It wasn't the drinking. It was me. A little sprinkle. As long as you in know there. it. Yeah, yeah. As long as you know it. I know it. But it took a while. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> Not as long as you know it. Oh no, no, no! I was doing that on purpose because that's what it's like talking to you. That's okay. It didn't offend me. You sure? Because you. Yeah. So why are you acting like that if it didn't offend you? I just found it funny. Mm. <laughs> I'm not buying it. Mm. <laughs> Don't spend your Look money. Look at Melanie's face. Don't. That's the Melanie's bothered face, There's bro. No way. A hundred percent is. I've known you for so long that There's that no you've been bothered. Look. Here, let me change my face. <laughs> That's the shit you do. I swear to God. I'm gonna change my face. Look, it goes like this. Oh, I'm not bothered. Like she just sucked a lemon. <laughs> yeah, I'm not bothered. How I be twitching. Muffle, muffle, See, muffle, this is my bothered face. Muffle. No, that's not your bothered this face. This was. No, that's the, you better chill out before I show y'all while I'm talking Yeah, but bothered. the fake, no, I'm talking about when you try to fake that you're not bothered at all. That's it. I'm not bothered. Like a smile's trying to come out, but it can't because you're actually really bothered. So it's like this. I'm not bothered. Why you look like Popeye? Fucking this is how you, you look. An aneurysm or the fuck? What's an aneurysm? Mayonnaise. When well, you're about to have a heart attack. Is that what it is? Oh, I think you did have you a heart like attack. You look like you constipated. That's what you look like. That's literally your face. That's not my face, bro. There's no way. I know. You don't want to go around with a mirror in front of your face all day. I got her. Imagine <laughs> <laughs> Like the kids. The kids jokes and stuff. You know. Yeah, because you're a big ass kid. Then you're a pedophile. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> I lost that video. This is the job, right? We should get insurance like on TikTok and Instagram and stuff. I was wondering why you ain't post that video yet. Oh, because I was scared that we was going to get canceled. I thought that was clean comedy. It is clean comedy, but you never know. The family got one? Yep. With the lowest. 
Well, yeah, Lois, then you're a pedophile. <laughs> yep. Nah, it was, it was, it was sound like that, though, but I thought we was ready, you know, I... This is this sucks. I was realizing the other day. I'm not even the other day. This morning, I'm going through our old content, right? I was trying to find a a certain video. You got to timestamp that. Yep. <laughs> He's timestamping. Why are your energy draining and stuff right now? I'm listening to you. She's furious. Yeah, she's, she's so right mad right now. I can now. see how you're boiling inside. Your pores are opening. Yeah, you should put cold water in your face. <laughs> Back to the poor shit, right? Nah. <laughs> I was I was going through our old videos, and I was reflecting on them, and I was like, damn, this shit used to be so fun for us. Like, I can see why people would be like, oh, you guys lost it or whatever. I, that, that never bothers me, because I, I can see it. I feel it in the content we're shooting now. Like, this isn't, this is just... I have to post, so let's do something. But before it was, we was actually doing stuff. See how the other day when he was massaging my foot? That actually happened, and we redid it for the camera. Remember that? Yes? Yes. So we have a... My bad. <laughs> I'm not in my head. I not, Melanie nods her head. Yes. Yeah, we got we got to put that Siri audio okay. for the audio. They can't see you nodding your head, my boy, in the audio. Yeah, my bad. So... So I'm watching the videos. I'm like, damn, this is funny, because we used to be in a moment and just... Or well, even if it wasn't the moment, we knew to basically like timestamp our life and be like, we gotta write this down and and shoot this. And I would just be like, oh, I got a promo. Let's figure out an idea. Let's come up with this. Oh, yo, we haven't posted in so long. Argue with me, yell at me real quick. I'm like, damn, son, this is this is whack. I didn't know that's how we used to move though until I until I saw that uh -huh. today. There's a quote that I hear in music that I feel like applies to you guys too, like whoever makes videos and stuff. The quote is. Your first album is always your best because you had your whole life to make it. Mm. Have all those experiences all the way up until that first album to write about. After that, now it's just, all right, we're moving. We're just going. We got to just grab on whatever we're grabbing to make whatever we got to make now. Mm. So it could be that. That's like everything fact. was, you guys kind of are the, the, the trendsetters and trailblazers of that whole route and, and the couple's videos and stuff. So it's like. I don't even know how much left is there because you guys, get it everybody's already. waiting for you guys to set what's <laughs> next. Mm. Like when everybody else that's doing couple stuff comes to that standpoint, everybody's going to start looking at each other like, yo. And that's the shit though. I be watching all these other couples do stuff. I'm like, damn, I did that six years ago. But look at how it's hitting now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me redo that again. I get deleted if I post those videos. Yeah. So that's the only like the other hard part too is like, damn, son, if I post my old video that you just posted, I'm getting deleted. Shout out to the new couples though. They funny as fuck. They all funny as fuck. They, man. but that's but they inspire me though, because that's what reminded me, like, holy shit, you're in the moment shooting that video. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of them are in the moment just shooting and we're like forcing because this is actually our it's, career on the line. Yeah. Like, oh shit. <laughs> But it's fine. We got something new coming out soon where it's more like that. Even even not even as old as like even in 2020 when we were shooting with Loop and stuff, mm -hmm. you look at that content and it's still in the moment or written down content that mm -hmm. that we knew rather than yo, let's figure something out. Like we didn't worry that before. Now there's just so much worry that comes with it. I'm gonna fall back into that shit because that new shit we're gonna shoot is it ain't easy. It's yeah. also you guys have so much shit going on, like so many different projects and shit going on and collabs. And that so. shit don't do nothing for me. No, my thing, my thing be the algorithm that be pissing me off. That's another one. Like that be blowing minds because you really, you really can't control who sees your videos, and you put so much energy in it, and then they're like, oh, a thousand views, two comments, and like mm -hmm. you should, and and we say you shouldn't care about that shit. Like, you really shouldn't. That shouldn't be your motive. But, like, damn, bitch, why y'all playing with me? Yeah. Like, people want to see my stuff. I want I want them to see it. That's why I create, you this know? This shit's so been hitting lately, though. I don't know if you have a check. Especially when you know it's a banger. Like, this one is going to go, and you put it up, and you're like, because I know you had that a couple times, Cheeks, where you put it up, and we were like, this one's going to go. We're dying laughing, and it don't go. And you're like, let me take it down and repost it, and then it'll go. I mean, and it's yeah. like, what's the fucking, but what's the difference? That's the, You had just said it, like, oh, um... They go, you do, like you don't see it. Like, yeah, because your shit's been here. And that's why it's important not to care about it, 
because it, it'll go nah. eventually or whatever the case may but be. But sometimes you got to care because you got to know if your app is updated. Like, if you see that video not hitting, you got to go check and be like, why didn't it hit? Yeah, yeah I'm learning so, that. Yeah, sometimes it's a algorithm thing, but sometimes you got to update your app. You got to delete it. You got to restart your phone. Like, you have... I'm I'm I, I'm even thinking I'm having this theory recently where where other apps are open. Uh huh. I can't post. I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm having this little theory where these two apps, if they open at the same time, Ooh, that's let, interesting. Let, you, let me delete it. You want to know what's it was what's amazing because we talking about this and I actually had this conversation um on what day did I go this week I had went to a high school and it was like a career day. Mm-hmm. It was a career day. It was me and this nurse. Um, cause everyone else couldn't go. I thought you were say me and his nerd. <laughs> no, me and his nurse. Me yeah, and nurse. a nurse, not this nurse. Me and a nurse, and we were talking about the routes we took in order to get to where we were, and there was about like I want to say fifteen students there, um, and it was really amazing to just talk about my journey in getting to where I am, cause it's very unorthodox and it's very much of trust life. And wherever, whatever's meant for you is meant for you. And while, you know, the nurse, she has a specific thing, even though she dropped a major in college and, like, decided to be a nurse at, at right when she was almost done. Um, but it was very inspiring, even for the for the kids and for me, to just remind myself that, wow, I, was, I used to be a high schooler. It's funny how you tell the story, because I know the story you was trying to tell, and you lost track. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can tell it for you if you want. Yeah, tell the story for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's funny because I watch it. Like, is she gonna say? I know why she started this convo. You're trying to get to it. Yeah, I know exactly why. Because it, I'm assuming, by the way, but I think I know where you was going with it. The nurse and Melanie have two different career paths, right? But the crowd understood that consistency is needed in every career path. Did, was you going this route or no? Uh-huh. Yeah, right. Honestly, I didn't know where, where I was going. Oh, I was just sharing my story. I remember you saying that though. I remember <laughs> really yeah, good yeah, point. Yeah. I remember you saying that. That was like, yo, whatever. It's all about consistency. That's the main for sure. Point and cue. Like that's what the you said the the kids One got of the out kids, of it. Yeah, that was it was it was amazing. I liked when you told that part. That's why I was trying yeah. to bring it up. I was I was bringing up the whole experience because it was dope. I haven't done I honestly went into the um career day thinking it was like um, children. Children. Mm-hmm. And like to show them like there's other options, but they were High school. Seniors and juniors. Yeah. And I was like, oh, and sometimes high schoolers make me nervous. <laughs> I don't know why. they, Because, you know, they're basically adults. Yeah, and they, yeah, they will. Like one time I had a, whatever, side note, I had to teach a hip hop class for like eighth graders or something. And I was like, damn, I hope these dance moves are cool enough for them. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so too. That's terrifying. Yeah. Show them, show they them, did. show them your new dance move. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. You can stand up. Damn. Yeah. I call that the one-handed Jeff Hardy. Yo. Cheeks calls Cheek, that sexual Cheek harassment. Loves the it. silver surfer. <laughs> you said Cheeks loves when I do this? Yeah. <laughs> the silver surfer is funny as fuck. <laughs> but Lady, but Lady the, I, we going way off topic now, but Lady the other day was like, you want some boom boom? And she starts doing that <laughs> dance. And I'm like, this is your way of turning me on? And she's like, wait, that didn't work? You want some vagina? <laughs> And she starts doing it. I'm like, yo, I'm going to go to the gym with my eyelash. Like, like, yo, if you. <laughs> yo, he does something uncharacteristic. Yo, I'm going to smoke a cigarette. <laughs> my, shit, my shit is that I know that's her way of, you know, of initiating. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Like, do I dance? Guys, give me advice in the comments. Do I dance back? Matter of fact, let's ask you right now. This is our therapist. Do I dance battle you? <laughs> Yeah, what, <laughs> what, hold on. Like, that's what, a great question. I, what response are you looking for? Do I, I don't know what response I'm looking do for. Do I dance battle you? Like, what do I do? I don't know. I'm like, just trying like, to Like, do I kiss of, you? Is that like... <laughs> kiss me with a thousand forces of a million waterfalls. <laughs> there it goes. I don't know how you do that, but good luck, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm just trying to read the room to see where you at. That's but then I kind of figured out. I kind of figured out. I was like, ah, this isn't really working. Because <laughs> he, I'll do it and he'll he'll be like, <laughs> ooh. Well, that turned off. Oh, good, th- good thing I was doing my eye thing. I was like, the technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Um, he's back. 
And so he'd be there like, um, okay, like, <laughs> I kind of, I realized that it's equivalent to Chica whispering in my ear. Or no. Breathing it, in my ear going, uh, and I'm <laughs> like... <laughs> Charlotte, that shit is not sexy, bro. No. Don't do that. The fact that she says equivalent, right? It's equivalent. I say not equivalent. I get what you mean by equivalent, but yes. the reason why I don't like she says equivalent because I'm like, that's not me trying to fuck you. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was. <laughs> that's One of them is not initiating, but yeah. they are both pretty that, weird and not sexy. The the what I say yesterday, I said, I, said wa- I was was it say yeah? I said I want your pussy. He go pussy in my. And what was your response? That you was like, get away from me. Nah, she gave it up. <laughs> Yo, I was just so laughing. <laughs> she, gave it up. she gave it up. After she laughed. Yeah, we worked. Well, you did it after. No, did it. Yes, you did. After what? After. After that bomb. <laughs> For those of you guys who can't see, um, well, I me, smirked. Is blushing. I smirked, <laughs> blushing, and I pulled my hair behind my ears. I pushed my hair behind my ears. You know that look. Damn, I definitely see kicks though. Them shits was cold. Yo, Chiclet is the best sneaker cleaner ever. Nah. He needs pair. to open up his own. Damn. What you thought? I thought they were a new pair. Y'all, I'm telling you, bro. I told him I put it on nah, my I gram. Took, I did like five minutes of work. I should. You actually dirtied him again, but it's alright. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, the white is back. Dude. I am definitely like a big ass kid. Like I, I, I'm not processing the fact that I turned 30 in 30 days, and like I just. Like even being with the oh, so high schoolers. Earlier schooler, you was in the eighth grade mind, but now. I'm I, even being with the high schoolers, I don't picture myself. So earlier can you I wasn't. Bacon. <laughs> um, I didn't. Pro- I don't process myself as far apart as them. Like I don't know. As who the eighth graders? The high schoolers, you Wait, dumbass bitch. You gotta let her dig her own hole. Hold <laughs> on, we're gonna push her in in a sec. Continue. There's no way. Just continue. You fuck yeah. How far? How many years apart did you feel like you were? Because the eighth graders are thirteen. Nah, I think I feel like I'm. I still feel like nah, I'm she's still with the high school. Well, is thirteen going on. 30. I still feel like I'm for real. <laughs> Freaky uh, Friday. I nah. feel like I'm. Um, I'm still like twenty five or something. Like I don't feel like That's I'm that far away. There's no way. You what feel do you like mean? Those four. Those four years make a difference. No, 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 no. But I'm talking about. You said high schoolers. We was seventeen. And yeah. you go. I feel like I'm still twenty five. That's not. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's a college graduate. <laughs> Yeah, you but you're not that your far. One eight years apart, and the other you're closer to. I see what you mean, but your time frame is a little. It's just, it's just weird. You feel like you just graduated, and they. You just know what, guys? I am tired of the way y'all speak to Who's me. Who's y'all? Both because y'all. it's usually y'all Hold coming on. at me. We got like Hold two on. episodes where I'm winning. And, Hold and on, I'm wait. counting bullets. Wait, wait, you counting what? I'm counting bullets. And how many you got? How many y'all got before I leave this podcast? What that mean? And it's just the Chicle and and Kaba the Creator show. Oh, we just bring Riddell. We will bring them. We got a new three show dickheads coming. We together. It's me, Riddell. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, uh, you're dumb, bro. Yo, why would you put that there without a coaster? It still would have fell. <laughs> Not Melanie <laughs> knocking over her drink, hitting your drink, and spilling and blaming it on you. Yeah, this is life. There's no uh, way. I just did that on purpose. For no, that's my really. life. There's no way. That's I my really life. I don't do that. What? There's no way I blame you for stuff that I know I did. JFK? What? what? Yes. Oh, you said <laughs> 100%. No funny shit. I know you were blaming me for his assassination. <laughs> <laughs> What the I fuck? Was like, I wasn't there. <laughs> First of all, he said his what was acronyms is USA. So no, we not. Was that him saying that? No, no you pronouns. Said that. You said that. Am I acronyms? Acronyms. Motherfucker, chick, I watched the video. <laughs> the I wa- he didn't even watch the video. I watched the video yeah. where a guy um he was like, I'm wearing a camo shirt. Like how I feel when I, when I wear camo shirts. And he's like, my pronouns are USA and. Um, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we was there. Yo, yo. Anyway. You know what's crazy about me? Yes. Is that I don't think I look at the world like you guys do. We always sit in the same way. Because I'm. <laughs> deep thought. I want. I want your vagina. I want. I want my. All right, stuttering Steve. Could you continue? Yeah, God. right? What the fuck, Jeez. bro? I want my dick to be named Thought. Thought? Yeah. So when it's in your vagina, it's a deep I, for, thought. I forgot that my vagina name was Delilah. Yeah. Ooh. What? It's what? Delilah. Delilah. I forgot about that. Who's my, Delilah? My stripper name was Mangoes. I remember that. 
I used yeah. to work. Calvin wants to name his daughter Delilah. I used to work at. Uh, <laughs> I'm not naming my daughter after Melanie's vagina now. <laughs> when your daughter's born, I'll be like, guess what? <laughs> you named after my vagina, bitch. Yeah, scar my fucking. That'd daughter. be crazy. As <laughs> <laughs> just scar my daughter. <laughs> but that'd be crazy as fuck for me to hear. Like, shouldn't she be named after my vagina? <laughs> Wait. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Wait, that's not what I'm asking. That's, that's what I'm crazy. She's going to run to her mother and be like, did you guys name me after? You know, Melanie's you know what's funny? You asked, you asked me permission before the show. Or not permission, but you haven't asked Melody yet. For what? That you wanted, I'm going to Florida, and you had gave me a... Yo, I can't watch Winter? I he can't wants to stay, stay with Winter. I can't during... Winter no more? You you have said there's no that's what you get. Way. This is exactly how you hold people accountable. That's exactly what he told me. Yeah. And when I was like, oh, I'm joking. I was joking. No, he you was wasn't. Like, you were dead ass. He was like, oh, now you pulling a millennium. Yeah. yeah. Now you pulling a me? How so I can't pull you? you or you? No, bitch. So Hypocrisy I, at its finest, I you am. You guys are both hypocrites. And Hell I'm like yeah, the, yeah. I'm like the only normal human being on this show. There's no way. Nah, You're on, king hypocrite. Yeah. You rule it and we are underneath you. This is like your, this is your kingdom. Yeah. This is yeah. Okay. Bow down, bitches. <laughs> oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, bow right. down. Relax. You just go be a king. <laughs> but it just wasn't his. Now all of a sudden he wants to be the king. You yo, nah, fuck yo, out you, 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 you guys want to know my rules? I am whatever you say I am. I don't change my shit. That shit is so Take toxic. Easy, I told Eminem. him that. That's yeah, not right. toxic. I, yes, it is. Yo, I, you know what's funny? N let's get into it. Let's get into it. First of all, before I get into it, what I'm thinking right now is that you spilled my monster and this fucking car. Carpet's gonna wake up soon with mad energy, right? <laughs> so I'm nervous as shit right now because that shit is bubbling down there. <laughs> that, that shit gonna be like I'm up. <laughs> a flying carpet now. That was a pretty good voice. Thank yeah, you. I'm practicing my. So I'm waking up like I that want, when you're alone. I just cold want cold. everyone to notice that I did. Can you believe the words that are coming out of my mouth? Mm -hmm. And I just did a voice for the carpet. So I'm going to use Do that for my- Do the carpet voice again? Um, for your greatest hits. I'm up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You have to do the hands every time. Yeah. <laughs> so when I start my voice acting career- um, I got a voice acting gonna career. Those are going to be on my resume. This is your voice hey, acting career. This is my it's voice right acting career. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> You're canceled. Okay. <laughs> That's Kenny. Kenny. Yo, Kenny, what are you doing, Kenny? There's no way. <laughs> That's Melanie's Cartman. It that was sucks. Her dialogue. There's no way. It's there's crazy. No, there's no way, Cartman. No, that's not it. Uh, that was Rick and Morty. No, they're sorry. saying that you actually sound, but I can't put my. That was Rick and Morty. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't sound like. I of did. Them. <laughs> Yo, Melanie takes offense to me not giving a fuck what people think about me. Because you. Not giving a fuck about people, about what they think is you not taking accountability That's for not how what they that feel. Is. Yes, you are. You're no, it's not. not. No, it's not. You're, you're, you're neglecting their feelings. No, I'm not. Because, no. yes, uh, no. perfect. I'm going to I'm gonna give you about him. A f I'm going to give you a perfect example. Okay, look, look, look. Chiclet. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm so sorry, right? Yes. But I want to, this is. I'm going to let you finish, but. Uh, Beyonce. But Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. If you tell me that I'm an asshole, right, mm -hmm. and I agree, if that's how you feel about me, why is it my job to change your perception of something you threw on me that that wasn't for me? Okay. Great question. I'm going to say, because you don't agree about with the fact that I think you're an asshole. You don't I think I can't agree with that. You, okay. So if you are agreeing with the fact look, that, look. you know, like, wait, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say yeah, 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 really my fault, my fault, clearly, my fault. It's the monster. really clearly. So the, you're saying I am whatever you say I am. Like, I don't give, like. If I wasn't, I, then why would you say yes, that? So I'm an asshole and now I'm angry at you because you calling me an asshole. No. Now I'm mad. No. Because that is how you respond. Uh -uh. You do respond angry. Uh -uh. Okay. I don't agree. All right. So. If you don't agree, so you, whatever, if you don't agree with the fact that I'm calling you an asshole and you are using the term, I am whatever you say I am, that is you not taking accountability, for, not not hearing my feelings. But he doesn't have to. I'm not saying he is because he's saying that, that he doesn't agree, but this is what my perspective is about. I'm saying I don't agree that I get angry with somebody yes, telling me something. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. If a guy comes in here right, right. now, he's like, Melanie, you're a murderer. What are you going to say? 
No, I'm not. I'm not no murderer. I didn't murder nobody. Now you're going to sit there and probably look at us and start laughing. Like, what the fuck is He's this bugging. guy No, about? there's no way. Because that's no, what me and Cheeks see, are going to do. No, see, but I'm not like that. It doesn't affect that. you if when I, it's not true. I do respond. So, and this gets us, this, I'm definitely learning how to not care about what other people label me as because that's their prerogative, yeah, right? No but I am a person that is going to defend my name. If you have an opinion of me that I do not agree with, even with Chiclet, if he thinks I'm biased and I'm like, I'm not biased, I'm going to defend myself. That's different than accountability. Instead though. of me saying, um, I am whatever you say I am, whatever, I don't give a fuck about what you think and are saying. Yeah. I think there's two outcomes to the way you guys handle it. One, whoever's calling him whatever eventually is going to stop because it doesn't affect him. And you, more people are going to start labeling you. And then, and th so I. Because they're getting a response. In in that sense, cool. But let's say I call Steven a cheater. Mm -hmm. No, but. And you say, and like, I accuse you of cheating. And I'm like, yo, you're a cheater and you're a liar. And he's like, I am whatever you say I am. Well, now I don't have any clarity. Because this is my point. That's now your I don't problem. Have any, That's been his stats and his character. So you should know. But Holy I shit, that answer still lines up with him always being himself. If he, if you call him a cheater and he doesn't respond like that, then you should be worried because that's a out of character answer. He's always that. But, wait, but, what, but there's no account. There, I got a question. Uh -huh. What do I have to take accountability for if I if didn't cheat? Didn't do it. That's all what right. I'm but there's a, what there's, is there accountability? Right, hold on. I'm on to, yo. If you want to drive yourself crazy thinking that, then that's on you. I if one. That is a toxic response. No, you have Two. the toxic if it, response. No, if it I didn't mean, I'm happen a, I'm a and you're accusing myself. him, how is he supposed so to defend why himself? Why don't you say, like, no yo, I did anyway. not cheat on you, point blank, period. But you don't have no proof that he did, so why are you even accusing me? Okay. Because if he knows and it didn't happen. So you're telling me if I'm outside, hold defend? on. You don't have on. no proof to Kaba, you're the podcast sorry. producer I'm that sorry, is not I supposed got, to be doing I got heated just now because I've been in this situation before. What I'm saying is, right? That, how am I the toxic one when you're making up scenarios? And I'm the toxic one because I don't give you clarity? Yeah, why you can't just respond and be like, um, that's not what's happening? Why are you responding that I'm cheating? If, anyways, how did you even get there? With no proof. So, all right. You talking to a girl at the bar, a bartender. You chatting it up. And my, mind you, that's and that. I am, and I am uncomfortable about this situation. And I'm like, I don't like that. This and the third. You don't like you're, it. Yeah. And... I only I'm I don't want to use a specific scenario because one I don't even remember. But my whole point is there there's a way to instead of being like I am whatever you say I am, which is fuck how you feel. It That's is not what that means. It is. No, it's not. It, it no, it's is not. All right. It well, you're it is. Accusing me it is you're being toxic. It is for me for the person who is so, expressing. So I have how to it is. accountability. Wait, wait. How is it okay that you're falsely throwing something at somebody? How is that you falsely? Fa you don't have no proof. So That's why you need the confirmation to tell him yes or no. Okay. You said you're a cheater. If you had the proof, then it doesn't matter what his response is. You already had the proof. Him telling you I am what I say, I'm, you're like, oh, now I'm stuck in limbo. I don't know if he cheated or not. You brought that whole scenario up by yourself with uh -huh. no proof. Okay. So you want him to, you know, ruin Give his... Give me proof. Or, or did, tell me that it's not. But that's not my job. But he okay. didn't do it. So how can I prove to you I didn't do something? How so, about you prove to me I did do something? Let's do that one. You calling me I a cheater. Do? Prove okay. that I'm a cheater. Okay. I just don't get how I'm toxic for someone calling me names and me accepting it. I don't get how that's toxic. I get where you're coming from that it doesn't validate your feelings. But why am I the toxic one when because you're the one you, coming the to me with fake why shit? I, say, I hear you. The only reason why I say that it's one, I, I, you know what? Maybe the word is manipulative because you can actually be a cheater and use that tactic. You yeah, can actually you be proof, lying. You it. can actually be that person and use that tactic. But yeah. So the there's no, there's no clarity for me now. I have to kind of go figure it I out. I have to figure it out, Good. and that's fucked up. No, it's not. It's fucked up. What you did is because fucked up. You want me to admit needed, I cheated? Needed... It's flip. That's the way this works, bro. Why do you think I haven't changed the fucking? The persona, yeah, is how it works. Women run the world, world. Who won the world? Anyway, my, my, I'm going to clarify my, my point so that it's clear because I know I use a lot of words and different things, but my point is if I'm asking you to validate, if I'm asking you a question that needs validation from me and your response is I am whatever you say I am, that is not a yes or I, no question. 
That is not a yes or no answer. And now it takes me to figure out if I need to believe you or not. And I'm not I saying say nothing. I'm, I'm not saying for you, but there's men that use this tactic no. as a way to deflect from the truth. My shit and is, and that's where I don't agree with it. Look at, but look at how toxic you are by saying you ask something for validation when that's not true at all. Mm -hmm. Your way of asking for some validation is, oh, that's why you was fucking that bitch the other day. Uh huh. And then waiting for my response to see if you get... That's not... If you think that's what I did, then that's on you. Okay. Especially with the way you confronted me. Why should I be like, oh, okay, cool. You think I'm cheating again for the hundredth time? Let's give you another answer again for the hundredth time. And you're okay with that. If you think I'm cheating, why would it be my job to prove you wrong? Okay. Or right. When this has come up multiple times, you clearly don't trust me. Make your decision. Why do I have to keep making that decision for you? 100%. I agree with you. You don't have trust for me. That's not on your side. Make your decision. Yeah. I 100% agree I with you. I am not. <laughs> I get where you're coming from as far as with the point that the validation. As far as me taking accountability, that's thrown off yeah. the. I don't, I don't think that's a. You me, 100%. I don't think that at all, right? Mm -hmm. As far as validation, if that, you was yeah, to come up to me. Not accountability, validation. If you was to come. And me being the toxic one because I don't respond to negativity is crazy to me, right? But. If you came up to me like, yo, is this is how I've been feeling, is this true? That's totally different than, oh, so you was fucking that bitch you was with yesterday? <laughs> I hear you, 100%. That is totally different. 100%. If communication is about communicating... That is where I feel like there's people like that... Like, I'm using a toxic... I'm using a toxic way to try to get you... You're trying to manipulate yeah. me rather than... And then, and then use that and say that's a form of communicating. Yes. That I did ask you. No, you didn't. I asked you. You accused me. You didn't uh -huh. ask me shit. You accused me. Uh-huh. And, and then I want you to respond healthy to my toxic way. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Which is the same way if I be like, oh, you was out doing whatever, and you respond negative towards me. Now, I did that on purpose. And then I'm going to blame you for your reaction. Mind you, I'm the one that made you react that way. Uh-huh. Right? I do that. That's a toxic way. I I have uh -huh. or, or have done. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I have it anymore, so I don't do that, right? I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Damn, that was sexy. Mm. But that that's my standpoint on, on 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 those things that people confuse communicating with accusing. Like I don't get how you're communicating with me and trying to get something out when you just accused me. Uh huh. You yelled at me, accused me, said I did something I didn't do, and I'm supposed to be here like, no, look. This is, look, I was out with the guys yesterday. Fuck that. If that's what you believe, go do your own thing. All right, I stand corrected for that. I mean, there's there's points. I get what you're yeah, saying. I, I, I get what you're saying as well. I'm just saying I don't agree with people that, that do shit like that. Like, no, I am. 100%. I can't use a toxic habit, not a toxic way, but a toxic way of communicating and expecting you to respond in a healthy way and then be upset at you for responding to me in the way that you do when I'm approaching you with a, with a um, not... An uh, indirect way of, of responding. Exactly. Yeah. That goes my point. Kyla must have went through this shit a hundred times. He was ready to fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I'm using my mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using my mic because I was going to go down a deep rabbit hole. But see, it gets clearer that though, both, right? No, 100% I see both of, of the stance because as a guy in the situation, you never want your woman to feel insecure about herself or your relationship. But if you're just coming at me accusing stuff because... Just to but do you do, shit. do you think there is a difference if she's like, yo, I need this validation? For me, was you doing that? The presentation of the question that's going to be asked, yeah. If you're accusing me yes. and name calling and labeling me, then my response is Cheek's response. Mm -hmm. That that I makes am, sense. I am whatever you are. Yeah, we growing on this fucking pod. Wow. But if you know, if you come to him like, yo, they gonna watch us grow. They gonna see it. Yeah. And it's gonna be fire. I need to take accountability. Give me something. Come on, come on, come on. You taking too much accountability on this show. I need to be wrong. <laughs> I need to be wrong. Come to me with him. I know how to... I, you know what's fucked up, though, is that you do struggle with actually saying what's on your mind and what you mean. Uh -huh. So then we, I use that to my advantage and can swindle my way around the mm -hmm. conversation. That's why I often have to clarify. I'm like, all right, hold on. I know I'm saying things like all over the place, so let me... Because I'm... I'm I'm very much in the moment with everything. Me too. So, yeah, but you are, you are calculated in the literal. way you communicate. I'm just literal. Yeah, but you are calculated in the way you communicate. Like, you ask a question and you're holding on to that answer. And that answer plays a role on why you ask your next question. I don't think I think that far ahead. You, I think you do. Nah, I just... And you foul things 
No. In a way. I think I'm just intuitive with myself that I know what I mean and say what I mean. Uh huh. Okay. And if I do fuck that up later, it's like, oh shit, I you right, you got you got me. You got you me. You know, because that I think that's where people get lost in their arguments and confuses you're saying something that when somebody says something else, you switch that something into something else. Mm -hmm. And then I get confused. I'm like, I thought we were saying no, but this is what I really meant. Because now that makes more sense with how you feel. You just made up a feeling and made up some shit you don't even and not just not you. But people make up stuff to validate why they felt that way. And when you could have just felt that way and been wrong the time. Well, that's how that's how we console ourselves as humans. Like, yeah. You ever had those deep thoughts when you know you fucked up in a situation? Yeah. You're trying to find a way like, nah, I couldn't have been me because I did this and I did this. So that girl, that person can't be mad at me. Yep. That's just us trying to console ourselves. Like, no, nah, I'm not. I didn't fuck up. I didn't make that person feel like that one. Sometimes we did. I'm all for it. And I don't think my way of thinking is toxic with that situation because... Look, you you ever hear the next line? I am whatever you say I am. Because if I wasn't, then why would you say I am? To me, that's a fact. I could be great to you and another woman thinks I'm the worst person of all time or another guy thinks I'm... Because I probably was. I'm not going to treat you, this woman the way I treat you. I don't give a fuck about this woman or this man or whatever. Like, oh, Chicklet didn't keep his word with me. I don't have to. You're not my boy. Mm -hmm. He loves me. He's the greatest. I don't have to be real with you. That's what people want to be real with everybody. I don't know you. Why do I have to keep my shit with you? I don't give a fuck. So that's why I agree with that statement because why, why would you say that if I'm not? You have some validation in your heart that you feel that I'm this way. Even if I didn't do it, something triggered you. And that's not on my job to change my opinion. I don't care what you think of me. But you did, I mean, I, well, you had made this realization the other day. He was like, I'm not... Um, you didn't. Well, you didn't respond in that way. You actually was like, "Yo, bro, I didn't mean it that way." And this and the third, like taking accountability of like this. That's not. That's what the happened hard part. Me. That's not what happened for me, and that's the healthy way of responding yeah. to someone that thinks of some has an opinion no. of you that you know is not a fact. Yeah. So, so that that that's why I say, and I know people are gonna disagree. Being a hypocrite is the most human being, natural thing I think they could be. Uh -huh. I think being a hypocrite is literally, there's a down, there's a, what is it, slander towards being a hypocrite, like yeah. it's a bad word. I think that's probably the most human, besides pissing shit in the eating, I think being a hypocrite is our first state. Yeah, like, yo. A bad stigma on that word. You have to be a hypocrite, bro. There's, there's stuff that works for you that doesn't work for me. So you're a hypocrite if you tell me something and you know what I'm saying? Like that I don't. That's a perfect example. What, what what you said? I told um, <laughs> I told Chicklet about the pores, and he was like, "I ain't gonna take advice from someone. Look at your pores. Your pores is mad open." I was like, "I know what to do, but I have a problem with doing it. Mm -hmm. Don't mean that the knowledge that I know it ain't true and it ain't a fact. Mm -hmm. You know, that's like people who want who don't want to take advice from someone who's not moving by it or living by it. Like, yeah. I know it, but I struggle with putting it into work." So what, what, why does that why does that mean less because I struggle with it? Like we all know how to lose weight and go and to lose weight. Yeah. But we all struggle with applying it. Applying it. Yeah. That don't mean that our voices are less than of it. But my the knowledge of it. My shit it does but that make it, that makes sense though. But if I don't know you from <laughs> a hole in the wall and you're really out of shape and you just start telling me stuff about the gym, your my validation of anything coming out of your mouth is gone. But I think that's ego. I don't know. I don't know what that it is. Could be. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not but at it that could step. Just be of my... being a hypocrite. <laughs> I'm not. At, I'm not at Maybe that. That's a better word for it. Yeah, I'm not that step in life yet. Like you know, <laughs> we working. Maybe that's ego. That to me don't feel like ego yet. Not it. it I'm gonna. I was just saying yeah. Not to, not to like be attacking you or nothing. No, no, sense, no. I, I, I don't know if it's ego. Because it even be. I do it because um, if. Someone gives you, well, let's maybe let's process what it is. If I'm telling you a lesson or whatever or something, and you're like, in your head, you're like, well, you're no, you're no, you're not in a standard to even give me mm -hmm. that. That's me. That mm -hmm. lesson and advice. So I don't want to take it from you mm -hmm. because you're not where I think you need to be to be given that in the first yes. place. I, I think that's for sure 100% ego because instead of being. At a humble place. No, that's of definitely taking, ego. Yeah, instead of being at a place where you take every lesson and take them as, as they are. Can I give you a personal You're example? putting yourself here. Can I speak? Mm hmm I've been waiting to speak oh, so long. Mm -hmm. We actually went off my fucking thing. Whatever, I'm not going to take it all. I'll go back later, a little, a little bit. 
when people do that to me, mm-hmm. right? When they telling me something, and it's not that I don't want to take your advice. Actually, why don't it's my response is why don't you apply that to your life? Because mm-hmm. it might work. You need it more than I do. Let's help you get there, and then we'll focus on me. That'd be my shit where I can't take people's advice. Not can't, but I have a hard time taking people's advice when it's like, how about let's work on you right now and then we'll come back to me real quick. That'd be my hard part. Like, why don't you apply that shit? I just had a thought. Like, in those situations, you're way further along than me. Because I respond the same, but like a dick. Like, my example is going to be when I started messing with the camera. Everybody and their mother was coming up to me like, oh, you should do this and you should do this. Meanwhile, I was putting in hours and hours behind the scenes watching and learning about the camera. So I knew what I was doing. So in order for you to correct me, you had to be Mike Loop. Yeah. Was, you know, you had to be of somebody that I see, you know your shit. So when random people would come up to me like, oh, maybe you should put your ISO on this or, or slow your shutter speed. I wanted to just hand them the camera and be like, here, go ahead. Let me see. Do it. I watched you do that. Do it. <laughs> You think you know more? Let me see how your shot comes out compared to mine. How about we both film it at the same time and then we let them pick which one is better? See, that's ego. That's ego. Yeah, yeah. 100%. If Mike Loop was to come up to me and be like, yo, Kaba, your ISO is low. Yo, bro, where do you think I should put it on? Because mm. it just goes back to what you're saying, like even with the out of shape stuff. If somebody's out of shape and they're telling me how to get into the gym and stuff, if it doesn't all fall on deaf ears, but most of them is, is deaf ears because... You but go so, do it, and then when you show me the results, I'll go do your So, one. so was the Which advice? Which is a bad habit. Yeah, it is because was the advice that everyone told you was it wrong? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I didn't apply it, but I know my shot came out good. <laughs> you see, so yeah. it, it is my ego still responding. Yeah, but I do still t- sometimes think I responded not in the best way, but it was the result still that I wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just is a negative way. Yeah. yeah. Because you know it's negative. Not yeah. You feel it. You could feel. I oh. honestly don't even know. Like when you were saying like, oh, yeah, well, maybe you should go do it. That never even crossed my head, my mind. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond another way. Yeah. Here, take my camera. Show me. Mm. There you go. No. I, no. Mm, that ain't safe. <laughs> I, 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 I don't. I, I, learning from others for so long, like in dance and, you know, going to school. So like even dance. Everybody but me. I learned from you too, bitch. Oh. And there's no way, fucking. Un- I take, I take. <laughs> She's she about to go. You. She I, I'm about to go. Them all out. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that ego has been crumbled because in dance, someone as your equal will tell you some advice that is profound because they're just seeing it from the outside, and sometimes it's, it really is easier to. To give others advice before it is to take it now, or you know, to do it yourself. You want to know what it is, though, right? It's the whole last, this is a couple pods ago, where I said defense responds for you, mm-hmm. right? Before you listen, your defense responds. So yeah. if someone's telling you you should do it this way, guess what that means? The way uh, you're doing it is wrong. wrong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So exactly. that's so that's where defense comes yeah, to yeah. play. You're telling me I don't know how to do what I'm Exactly. That's what comes to our mind is, wait, I'm... I've been doing this for a minute. There's no way you're telling me that's where it's like, but rather than viewing it from, you're actually trying to help me. Holy shit, that's so sad. Oh <laughs> that was really good. That's so sad. Because you, more sad, you I still respond, don't know how to respond with hate to people that are helping that are you. That trying to help, that's yeah. sad. Okay, so what about this? <laughs> Maybe <people? laughs> emotional, I can cry. Oh, yeah, because that is really fucked up. What about the people that... Uh, Feel like they know better. Yes, that it's not that they're, they're trying, trying to, to help. shit. It's not that they're trying to help. It's just they oh they have that personality. Like I just gotta feel like I threw a little bit of sprinkle. I'm on I'm gonna play devil's advocate. What if that narrative is never your, existed? Yeah. Nah, there's people like that. Yeah, though. There's no way. But I know people. I think that. devil's advocate is your growth would be. But you won't. Yeah. Going but, past that. But you, you won't know. Yes. That's that, yeah, yeah, yeah. But That's you, devil's you advocate. won't know for sure if someone is trying to. You'll know. I will, you would. I, I in think certain scenarios. Unless you asking the person, like, oh, are you trying to say, are you saying this deliberately to make me feel less than? You Then it's an assumption that we're making. I'm saying during growth, I feel like you'll know. It'll be a good assumption. How about that? Because you mm-hmm. don't 100% know. But it'll be a. Yeah, a, that's a, what a, I'm saying. Like, you won't. You, when your ego you starts going it, down a little bit, you'll know. What, but when your ego starts going down, instead of assuming, you start asking that person for clarity. It's just like, the heart. Oh, are you doing like. 
there was moments, and I'll fall back and forth, obviously, in this line, but I'll be like, Chicla, did you say that to mean this? Like, are you trying to say that in this way? And he'll be like, no. Then I'll be like, all right, I know, I'm bugging. Instead of assuming that he is because I've reached this growth and I can I can um, decipher everything you're saying clearly, you know? Unless I'm just manipulating you. That's what I was going to say. That See, too. I have a problem with that, and I don't know if it's me being the problem because if somebody, I'll still use the camera and says, oh, you should do this. And then I say, yo, are you telling me that because you just want to feel like you chimed in on this? Or I don't think people know that. Do you really need? That person's never going to say, yeah, I'm just trying to be like I chimed in. They're never going to tell me that. You're going to be like, nah, bro, I really think. But that's not for, I mean, me standing, that's not for me to, to move like, with that. It's almost like, like, you was a bitch, you couldn't keep it a buck, so now I can't move with that since you said. That's yeah, the hardest shit because ever. Because in reality, I hate I, that shit. if I ask you a question, if I ask you that question like, oh, are you doing this for this purpose? And you pussy out and say no. I won. I already yeah. won. That's my ego in there. I already won because you wasn't even man you enough. Folded. Yeah, you wasn't even man enough to keep it a buck about what you said. That's that's. See, that's still bad energy though. That is. That's but, what I'm saying. Like, but, how do you grow in that situation? But because I'm not, I'm not gonna keep telling my head that you actually meant it this way. I'm gonna move with the answer you gave me. I think ego is a disorder too. Whatever you. Whatever real reason or whatever happened in your head, that's on you, bro. That's your energy now. So you're gonna take that person's advice or whatever you mean? I'll I'll take every, yeah. What happens if it comes out wrong? Do you go back to that person? No, no. I mean, I, no, it, I'm, not gonna, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna not. Or maybe just make a list. Like, okay, this person, I won't listen to them about this no. <laughs> ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Never no, listen to this person. person. Uh, this nah, is what I do. Nah, yeah. but look, Steve. My name is Steven, guy. By the way, guys, uh, the shit is, is that what we gotta defuncturate, right? Is this person's way may be right to them. Mm -hmm. So even if they help you, it's not that it's wrong. It's just you don't like their style. Okay. Yeah. And that's what it is. But they still could probably have ideas for whatever. But if the color grading doesn't look, that's just not my style. Mm -hmm. So it's not that they're wrong. They probably know exactly what they're doing. It's just not your style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. I don't know. It's so hard, bro. It's so hard. I think ego is definitely like a fucking mental disorder, though. Because the shit is really not. It's a pers It's a persona we created that's not real. So it's like, damn, that sucks. We gotta let that go. Well, it's so I, don't, hard. It, I don't even know if it's a persona that we. It's call. not real. The ego is a fake. It is. It is. It, it, I mean, the ego's there to protect us. They yes. say the ego is who? What is it? Who we think we are, or some shit like some that? Some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's fake though. It's 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 it's, it's literally a defensive wall. The ego. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Your ego only comes out to defend you. Yeah. That's it. It's fake. I'm that guy. Da, 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 I'm so this. unsafe, or you want to attack? Yeah. Yep, ego. You want to protect yourself. Your Whoa. ego comes out, and then we think it's who it's we ours. are. It's us responding. So, yeah. hey, so, like in the cartoons, like in Tom and Jerry, when they got the two angel and the devil, is one like your conscience? One is your conscience. Ego. ego. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. The other one's like, "Fuck it, do it, you I pussy." Like, yeah. yeah, I feel like mine. They talk different, but they look exactly the same. So That's I never know. <laughs> <laughs> like mine is an angel and a devil. They both wearing whatever I'm wearing. What they both wearing whatever I'm wearing. <laughs> what I was trying to say earlier when we got into the hypocrite conversation is that I'm a huge hypocrite right now because mine is I am whatever you say I am, but my other one is that's not a me thing. That's a you thing. Let me just clarify for myself. I don't mean that. That's not what I said. That's not what I mean. But the other one wants to be like, if that's how you feel, bro. That's how you feel. But you know, it's sort of like. It's a hypocrite thing because it's whatever I say. I'm I probably it probably is a toxic thing if I'm if I plan to grow out of it. Yeah, I never looked at it as toxic, but it probably is a toxic there. Which one, the new one or the old one? The new, one, the old one. The I am whatever you say. The I old am. one, yeah, it is. That's toxic. I guess there's toxic in there. I, it's a. I think it's a hypocrite thing. It could be yeah. toxic. It can be toxic. Because you, you, it I mean, on the scenario. I hear, I hear. I definitely understand the response about it. Like you giving me a toxic and like you question. I guess me in a toxic for people way, that I don't give a fuck about. That's exactly what I was thinking. It should be that. And then for the people I love, I should actually change it. But if you do come at me sideways, I'm hitting you with that line. So I guess it does make it toxic because yeah. if you responded to me toxic and that's guy. my response, that's my top toxic answer. Mm. <laughs> Melanie was Bravo. right all along. Bravo. <laughs> Mal <laughs> <laughs> well, what if they make it this far to see that? Wait, Chick, that took accountability. Say, Chick, that took accountability. Put this in the like beginning. Say. We're going to do it back. <laughs> we're going to play from reverse. We're yeah. Gonna go, <laughs> we're going to go two hours later. Two hours later. <laughs> two hours earlier. Yo. Okay. 
Fuck it. Let's be more toxic. I'm crying. There's I no hate way. that when I put on a TV show by myself and I watch it by myself and you sign in to two, tune in late year, like what, five, 20 episodes. No, no. I hate when I Relax. start watching my own TV show. Right? And then you tune in six episodes later and you watch the rest of the TV show without me. Mind you, it's my TV show. I shouldn't have to wait for you to watch my TV show because it's my TV show. I wish I had a round of applause button for that one. Hold the fuck up, bro. Yo, thank you guys for tuning There's in. no way. <laughs> that was That's Your Reality. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and go on chiclet at Millennium, Millenni, why you mad? Just because I like her pics don't mean I want her back. Millenni, why you mad? I know I do dumb shit sometimes that make you wanna spaz.